Hello everybody, welcome to Stories by Shelley. You've chosen such an awesome story. Look at this. It's called You Won't Shift a Hippo by Michael Catchpool and Rosalind um, Bradshaw. Ooh, should we have a look at what our awesome story is about today? I'm Michelle from Stories by Shelley. If you love my stories, give me a follow. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Give my stories a like. I'd love to know what you think. Let's have a look what our story is about today. Oh, I see lots of bugs and mosquitoes. Let's see. You won't shift a hippo. It was a hot and the sun shone down on the windy on the windy river and wobbly bridge and a very sleepy hippo. The hippo was huge, the hippo was heavy, and the hippo was in the way. Oh dear, look where the hippo is sleeping, right in the middle of the bridge. Nobody's going to be, be able to get past, hey? This is terrible, said the tawny lion. My favorite shady spot is on the other side of that bridge, and I can't get to it because the hippo is lying there. He will have to move. Oh, you mark my words, squawked a green and blue parrot who sat watching from the trees. You won't shift the hippo if I don't want to go. Squawk! Nonsense, said the lion. He'll move for me. Don't you forget, I'm the king of the jungle. I will order him off the bridge. And he strolled right up to the sleepy hippo. Rawr! I order you to move! Rawr! Do you think that's going to work? Look at his big teeth! But the hippo did not move, not even a little bit. Don't you realize who I am? roared the lion, again shaking his impressive mane. Now move! Rawr! But the sleepy hippo just carried on sleeping and snoring as he did. Squawk! See? I told you so! said the parrot. Hmm. Nope, that's not going to work. What on earth's going on? asked a long-tailed monkey scrambling along the trees. There's a ripe juicy fruit on the other side of the bridge and I can't get to it because the hippo is lying there. He'll just have to move. He won't move. I've tried ordering him off, but he just won't go, said the lion. Okay, well then I'll push him off the bridge, said the monkey. Come on. Squawk, but wait. You won't shift the hippo if I don't want to go, said our parrot. Hogwash, said the monkey. Just watch. And they just you watch, and they made their way to the sleepy hippo. Let's see if the monkey will help. One, two, three, push! Push! But the hippo didn't move, not one little bit. Push harder, said the lion. That's all right for you to say, huffed and puffed the monkey. I've got the heavy bit over here. But the sleepy hippo just kept on sleeping and shuffling as it did. Squawk! See, I told you so, said the parrot. How are they going to make this hippo move? What do you think they need to do? Oh, what's all the kerfuffle? said the brussely warthog as she lumbered along and noticed the hippo on the bridge. Oh, the best mud for rolling is on the other side of the bridge, but I can't get to it with the hippo lying there. He'll have to move. He won't move. We've tried to order him, and we've tried to push him, but he just won't go. Then, I think we must try something else, said the warthog. We must bounce him off the bridge. Oh, squawk! But don't stop! Stop, said the parrot. You won't shift it! Ah, ah. And you can help, snapped the lion as he grabbed the parrot's beak, and they all made their way to the bridge. Ready? Steady, jump! Up they went, and then down they went on the wobbly bridge. And as they went down, the hippo went up. Hooray!
Yay! But when the hippo went down, and when the hippo went down, the others went up, 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 and then down, 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 down. <gasps> Splash! See? Squawked the parrot as he dragged himself out the water. You don't need to say it again, said the lion. Roar! Oh no, they splashed right into the river. Everybody's all wet. Um, ex ex excuse me, squeaked a little mouse as he hurried along. What, what seems to be the trouble? We're trying to cross the river, but the hippo just won't move. We've tried to order him off. Oh, we've tried to push him off. And we've tried to bounce him off. But he just won't go. Okay, let me have a try, squeaked the little mouse. And he scampered across towards the sleepy hippo. He wriggled his nose and he twitched his whiskers and he whispered into the hippo's ear. What do you think the mouse told the hippo? And with an enormous yawn, the hippo stretched and got up. And he and the mouse wandered off across the bridge, side by side. Wow! squawked the parrot, as they all stared at the huge, heavy hippo and the tiny little mouse. Whatever could he have said to make the hippo shift? What do you think the mouse told the hippo? What do you think he said to the hippo? And the little mouse turned around and smiled. Please, he said. So he just asked the hippo nicely. Did you enjoy that story, everybody? So next time you want somebody to do something for you, what do we need to do? Just say please. I hope to see you guys again soon and please won't you subscribe or like my stories. We'll see you again. Bye everybody.